A black light or often black light, also referred to as a UV a light, woods lamp, or ultraviolet light, is a lamp that emits long wave UV a ultraviolet light and very little visible light. One type of lamp has a violet filter material, either on the bulb or in a separate glass filter in the lamp housing, which blocks most visible light and allows through UV, so the lamp has a dim violet glow when operating. Black light lamps which have this filter have a lighting industry designation that includes the letters. BLB. This stands for black light blue. A second type of lamp produces ultraviolet but does not have the filter material, so it produces more visible light and has a blue color when operating. These tubes are made for use in bug zapper insect traps and are identified by the industry designation BL. Black light sources may be specially designed fluorescent lamps, mercury vapor lamps, light emitting diodes, LEDs, lasers, or incandescent lamps. Although incandescents produce almost no black light except slightly more for halogen types and so are not considered true black light sources. In medicine, forensics, and some other scientific fields, such a light source is referred to as a Woods lamp, named after Robert Williams Wood who invented the original Woods glass UV filters. Although many other types of lamp emit ultraviolet light with visible light, black lights are essential when UV a light without visible light is needed, particularly in observing fluorescence, the colored glow that many substances emit when exposed to UV. Black lights are employed for decorative and artistic lighting effects, diagnostic and therapeutic uses in medicine, the detection of substances tagged with fluorescent dyes, rock hunting, the detection of counterfeit money, the curing of plastic resins, attracting insects and the detection of refrigerant leaks affecting refrigerators and air conditioning systems. Strong sources of long-wave ultraviolet light are used in tanning beds. Although the low power UV are emitted by black lights is not a hazard to skin or eyes and can be viewed without protection, powerful ultraviolet sources present dangers and require personal protective equipment such as goggles and gloves. <laughs> Types Fluorescent. <laughs> 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 Fluorescent black light tubes are typically made in the same fashion as normal fluorescent tubes except that a phosphor that emits UVA light instead of visible white light is used. The type most commonly used for black lights, designated black light blue or BLB by the industry, has a dark blue filter coating on the tube, which filters out most visible light, so that fluorescence effects can be observed. These tubes have a dim violet glow when operating. They should not be confused with black light or BL tubes, which have no filter coating, and have a brighter blue color. These are made for use in bug zapper insect traps where the emission of visible light does not interfere with the performance of the product. The phosphor typically used for a near 368 to 371 nanometer emission peak is either europium doped strontium fluoroborate SRB407F U2+ or europium doped strontium borate SRB407U2+ while the phosphor used to produce a peak around 350 to 353 nanometers is lead doped barium silicate barium silicide O5 PB+ black light blue Lamps peak at 365 nanometers. Manufacturers use different numbering systems for black light tubes. Philips uses one system which is becoming outdated 2010, while the German Osram system is becoming dominant outside North America. The following table lists the tubes generating blue, UVA and UVB in order of decreasing wavelength of the most intense peak. Approximate phosphor compositions, major manufacturers type numbers and some uses are given as an overview of the types available. Peak position is approximated to the nearest 10 nanometers. Width is the measure between points on the shoulders of the peak that represent 50% intensity. Woods glass tubes manufactured by Osram use a fairly narrow band emitting phosphor, europium activated strontium pyroborate with a peak at about 370 nanometers, whereas North American and Philips Woods glass tubes use lead activated calcium metasilicate that emits a wider band with a shorter wavelength peak at about 350 nanometers. 
These two types seem to be the most commonly used. Different manufacturers offer either one or the other and sometimes both. BLB fluorescent lamps tend to run with efficiencies in the 25% range, with an example being a Philips 40W BLB T12 lamp emitting 9.8W of UVA for 39 watts of power input. Topic: <laughs> Bug zapper tubes. Another class of UV fluorescent bulb is designed for use in bug zapper, flying insect traps. Insects are attracted to the UV light, which they are able to see, and are then electrocuted by the device. These bulbs use the same UV or emitting phosphor blend as the filtered black light, but since they do not need to suppress visible light output, they do not use a purple filter material in the bulb. Plain glass blocks out less of the visible mercury emission spectrum, making them appear light blue-violet to the naked eye. These lamps are referred to by the designation black light or BL in some North American lighting catalogs. These types are not suitable for applications which require the low visible light output of BLB tubes lamps. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Incandescent A black light may also be formed by simply using a UV filter coating such as wood's glass on the envelope of a common incandescent bulb. This was the method that was used to create the very first black light sources. Although incandescent black light bulbs are a cheaper alternative to fluorescent tubes, they are exceptionally inefficient at producing UV light since most of the light emitted by the filament is visible light which must be blocked. Due to its black body spectrum, an incandescent light radiates less than 0.1% of its energy as UV light. Incandescent UV bulbs, due to the necessary absorption of the visible light, become very hot during use. This heat is, in fact, encouraged in such bulbs, since a hotter filament increases the proportion of UVA in the black body radiation emitted. This high running temperature drastically reduces the life of the lamp, however, from a typical 1000 hours to around 100 hours. <inaudible> mercury vapor High power mercury vapor black light lamps are made in power ratings of 100 to 1000 watts. These do not use phosphors, but rely on the intensified and slightly broadened 350 to 375 nanometers spectral line of mercury from high pressure discharge at between 5 and 10 standard atmospheres, 500 and 1000 kilopascals, depending upon the specific type. These lamps use envelopes of wood's glass or similar optical filter coatings to block out all the visible light and also the short wavelength UVC lines of mercury at 184.4 and 253.7 nanometers, which are harmful to the eyes and skin. A few other spectral lines, falling within the pass band of the wood's glass between 300 and 400 nanometers, contribute to the output. These lamps are used mainly for theatrical purposes and concert displays. They are more efficient UVA producers per unit of power consumption than fluorescent tubes. <inaudible> LED Ultraviolet light can be generated by some light-emitting diodes, but wavelengths below 380 nanometers are uncommon and the emission peaks are broad, so only the very lowest energy UV photons are emitted, within predominant not visible light. <laughs> <laughs> Medical applications A Woods lamp is a diagnostic tool used in dermatology by which ultraviolet light is shone at a wavelength of approximately 365 nanometers onto the skin of the patient. A technician then observes any subsequent fluorescence. For example, porphyrins, associated with some skin diseases, will fluoresce pink. Though the technique for producing a source of ultraviolet light was devised by Robert Williams Wood in 1903 using Woods glass. It was in 1925 that the technique was used in dermatology by Margaret and Devese for the detection of fungal infection of hair. 
It has many uses, both in distinguishing fluorescent conditions from other conditions and in locating the precise boundaries of the condition. Fungal and bacterial infections It is also helpful in diagnosing Fungal infections. Some forms of tinea, such as trichophyton tonsurans, do not fluoresce. Bacterial infections Corin bacterium minutissimum is coral red, Pseudomonas is yellow green, Propionibacterium acnes, a bacterium involved in acne causation, exhibits an orange glow under a wood's lamp. <laughs> Ethylene glycol poisoning A Woods lamp may be used to rapidly assess whether an individual is suffering from ethylene glycol poisoning as a consequence of antifreeze ingestion. Manufacturers of ethylene glycol containing antifreezes commonly add fluorescine, which causes the patient's urine to fluoresce under Woods lamp. Other Wood's lamp is useful in diagnosing conditions such as tuberous sclerosis and erythrasma caused by Corin bacterium minutissimum, see above. Additionally, detection of porphyria cutanea tarda can sometimes be made when urine turns pink upon illumination with Wood's lamp. Wood's lamps have also been used to differentiate hypopigmentation from depigmentation such as with vitiligo. A vitiligo patient's skin will appear yellow-green or blue under the Wood's lamp. Its use in detecting melanoma has been reported. See also Billy light. A type of phototherapy that uses blue light with a range of 420 to 470 nanometers, used to treat neonatal jaundice. Safety Although black lights produce light in the UV range, their spectrum is mostly confined to the longwave UVA region, that is, UV radiation nearest in wavelength to visible light, with low frequency and therefore relatively low energy. While low, there is still some power of a conventional black light in the UVB range. UVA is the safest of the three spectra of UV light, although high exposure to UVA has been linked to the development of skin cancer in humans. The relatively low energy of UVA light does not cause sunburn. UVA is capable of causing damage to collagen fibers, however, so it does have the potential to accelerate skin aging and cause wrinkles. UVA can also destroy vitamin A in the skin. UVA light has been shown to cause DNA damage, but not directly, like UVB and UVC. Due to its longer wavelength, it is absorbed less and reaches deeper into skin layers, where it produces reactive chemical intermediates such as hydroxyl and oxygen radicals, which in turn can damage DNA and result in a risk of melanoma. The weak output of black lights, however, is not considered sufficient to cause DNA damage or cellular mutations in the way that direct summer sunlight can, although there are reports that overexposure to the type of UV radiation used for creating artificial suntans on sunbeds can cause DNA damage, photoaging, damage to the skin from prolonged exposure to sunlight, toughening of the skin, suppression of the immune system, cataract formation and skin cancer. Topic uses: Ultraviolet radiation is invisible to the human eye, but illuminating certain materials with UV radiation causes the emission of visible light, causing these substances to glow with various colors. This is called fluorescence and has many practical uses. Black lights are required to observe fluorescence, since other types of ultraviolet lamps emit visible light, which drowns out the dim fluorescent glow. Black light is commonly used to authenticate oil paintings, antiques and banknotes. Black lights can be used to differentiate real currency from counterfeit notes because, in many countries, legal banknotes have fluorescent symbols on them that only show under a black light. 
In addition, the paper used for printing money does not contain any of the brightening agents which cause commercially available papers to fluoresce under black light. Both of these features make illegal notes easier to detect and more difficult to successfully counterfeit. The same security features can be applied to identification cards. Other security applications include the use of pens containing a fluorescent ink, generally with a soft tip, that can be used to invisibly mark items. If the objects that are so marked are subsequently stolen, a black light can be used to search for these security markings. At some theme parks, nightclubs and at other, day-long or night-long events, a fluorescent mark is rubber-stamped onto the wrist of a guest who can then exercise the option of leaving and being able to return again without paying another admission fee. In medicine, the woods lamp is used to check for the characteristic fluorescence of certain dermatophytic fungi such as species of microsporum which emit a yellow glow, or corin bacterium which have a red to orange color when viewed under a woods lamp. Such light is also used to detect the presence and extent of disorders that cause a loss of pigmentation, such as vitiligo. It can also be used to diagnose other fungal infections such as ringworm, microsporum canis, tinea versicola, bacterial infections such as erythrasma, other skin conditions including acne, scabies, alopecia, porphyria, as well as corneal scratches, foreign bodies in the eye, and blocked tear ducts. Fluorescent materials are also very widely used in numerous applications in molecular biology, often as tags which bind themselves to a substance of interest for example, DNA, so allowing their visualization. Black light can also be used to see animal excreta such as urine and vomit that is not always visible to the naked eye. Black light is used extensively in non-destructive testing. Fluorescing fluids are applied to metal structures and illuminated with a black light which allows cracks and other weaknesses in the material to be easily detected. It is also used to illuminate pictures painted with fluorescent colors, particularly on black velvet, which intensifies the illusion of self-illumination. The use of such materials, often in the form of tiles viewed in a sensory room under UV light, is common in the United Kingdom for the education of students with profound and multiple learning difficulties. Such fluorescence from certain textile fibers, especially those bearing optical brightener residues, can also be used for recreational effect, as seen, for example, in the opening credits of the James Bond film A View to a Kill. Black light puppetry is also performed in a black light theater. One of the innovations for night and all-weather flying used by the US, UK, Japan and Germany during World War II was the use of UV interior lighting to illuminate the instrument panel, giving a safer alternative to the radium-painted instrument faces and pointers, and an intensity that could be varied easily and without visible illumination that would give away an aircraft's position. This went so far as to include the printing of charts that were marked in UV fluorescent inks, and the provision of UV visible pencils and slide rules such as the E6B. Thousands of moth and insect collectors all over the world use various types of black lights to attract moth and insect specimens for photography and collecting. It is one of the preferred light sources for attracting insects and moths at night. It may also be used to test for LSD, which fluoresces under black light while common substitutes such as 25 IN bohm do not. In addition, if a leak is suspected in a refrigerator or an air conditioning system, a UV tracer dye can be injected into the system along with the compressor lubricant oil and refrigerant mixture. The system is then run in order to circulate the dye across the piping and components and then the system is examined with a black light lamp. Any evidence of fluorescent dye then pinpoints the leaking part which needs replacement. Topic. See also Blacklight poster List of light sources